flying can be mysterious. So today, I'm showing you flying secrets that you never knew existed. From what will happen if you open a door while the plane is in mid-air, to the truth behind fly attendants, and even how you can get stuck on a plane toilet. Let's start with, you can open a door of a plane in the air. This is actually not true. When the plane is at cruising altitude, it's pressurized. That pressure means that getting a door open, it will take you superhuman strength to actually be able to open it. You can't open them for the simple reason that cabin pressure won't allow it. Next time that you're flying, do not worry about any current or any crazies going insane. Or everyone flying out of the plane as a result of an open door. It isn't going to happen. And if it does happen, this means that the plane is minutes from landing. Like recently, where passenger from Asiana Airlines landing in South Korea were able to open the door five minutes while the plane was landing. All passengers were safe. Locked toilets on an airplane are not really locked. And this is the secret way you can use to open any toilet on a plane. On top of the doorknob, you will find a sign written lavatory. All you have to do is open it and slide the knob to open. And then run before the crew catches you. Uh, I'll just uh, get us started. If you look at your plane ticket and you see an SSS code, four S's, this means that the airport thinks that you are suspicious. In that case, you will be screened even harder by security. But if you see this code, do not worry because the airport deems suspicious people who pay cash, buy a ticket last minute, or with only one way fare. Airplane trays are eight times dirtier than a toilet. You'll be surprised, people use them for so many other reasons. These include resting their heads, changing baby diapers, putting their feet on it. So always bring something to disinfect it. Pilots are given a do not pair list because pairing with the wrong partner is considered a life of death situation in the aviation. Each pilot can put the name of the pilot that they do not want to work with. Mm. Airlines take that do not pair list very seriously. You can get stuck on a plane toilet if you flush and are still sitting in it. Well, this is partially true. If you flush it while you're sitting on it, you will be sucked in. So you will have a harder time to get up, but you will be eventually able to get up. There's a guy locked in the bathroom and he's stuck on the toilet. So make sure to stand up before you flush or you will be sucked in temporarily. Hailstorms can cause damage to the plane. This is false because a plane is built in a way to redirect the current out. One funny fact, each plane is hit by lightning at least once a year. And it's safe. Plane trails. A lot of speculation and theories has been going on for a long time. People might think that, I don't know, it's some conspiracy and they're trying to put some chemical on you, but you'll be surprised and disappointed to just learn that plane trails are just vapor. It's just water. That's it. Sorry. Did you know that pilots are not allowed to eat the same food? And that's due to prevent mutual food poisoning. If one is down, we need the other one to pilot the plane. I'm gonna let you do most of the work. I think you're ready for it, Alan. And um... Why does food on a plane is known to taste bad? This is because of human biology. In the air, the plane humidity is up to 10% drier than the Sahara Desert. So we get dehydrated due to the humidity and it affects our ability to taste and smell. The taste of sweet drop to 15 to 25% and salt 20 to 30%. So some airlines overdo it and add way more. So the food that you're tasting has more calories than you think. And the way to fight it is bring headphones. With canceling the noise of the plane, you will be able to taste the food better. Airplane windows have tiny holes. Yes, don't panic. If the next time you're flying, you see a tiny hole in your window, it is for safety reasons. The tiny hole in the window helps to balance the pressure between the cabin and the outside air. It also has another purpose, which is to release moisture and stop frost or condensation from blocking your view. Fly attendants are not paid until the door closes. Yes, every time that you see them helping you get to your seat and dealing with crazy passengers, Passengers. All that is done for free because the clock starts when the door closes. So next time, be a little bit more nice to them. Did you know there's a six digit code on your plane ticket that reveals all your information? Your name, date of birth, credit card, even your IP address. But one alphanumeric code. That's one thing you don't want to throw away in a public trash can. 
So avoid throwing your plane tickets in the airport trash because if someone finds it and has access to the system, they can find out everything about you. Boarding last can get you a better seat. Most planes are not fully booked. So whenever everyone get their seat, you get in and you have so many empty seats to choose from. What are we at it? What are the safest seats in the plane? The safest place to sit on a commercial plane is in the back of the plane. The farther back you sit, the better chances you have at surviving an accident. Passengers in the back of the plane are about 40% more likely to survive than the rows in the front. And now the old age question, how safe a plane? I, I see all these things, it's like millions of things. <laughs> you can teach a monkey to fly, you just can't teach a retarded monkey. <laughs> You're more likely to get hurt driving a car than you can fly. <laughs> the odds of being in an accident during a flight and being fatal is 1 in 11 million. Contrary to a car, it's 1 in 5,000. In that case, driver, 